Welcome back to the 9mm ammo quest. Believe it or not, it's still going on. It's taken a while. Some things have come up, some medical issues, whatever else. So I'm not likely going to be posting videos as frequently as I was, but I'm still going to get through the 9mm and then the 38 special, and then I'll do some 45 testing. But we're still on 9mm. This is the pile that we have to get through. And today, we're going to bust a big chunk of it out because we're testing MagTech. Someone sent me a variety of MagTech ammo, so I've got the solid copper hollow points in 92.6 grains. We've got the Guardian Gold in 115 plus P, and we've got the Guardian Gold in 124 grain. As always, I'm testing from the 3 inch barrel. We're not doing general ammo testing, we're doing testing specifically for the small pistols that are so common today. Using professional ballistic gelatin with and without four layers of denim, looking for a bare minimum of 12 inches, and maximum of 18 inches of penetration to conform with the prevailing standard. First one we're gonna look at is the 92.6 grain solid copper hollow point. Very, very lightweight bullet. Penetration is outstanding. They, they did fantastic in terms of penetration. Expansion, not so much. Looks like they barely expanded or didn't. But the number one factor in bullet performance, we need sufficient penetration, minimum of 12 inches of ballistic gel penetration, and they exceeded that on every shot. So the shortest bullet we had came in at 12 and three quarter, and that was a denim shot. And that may be my fault. It looks like I shot too low. Maybe it bounced off the table. But fortunately, we do have two other bullets to compare in there. We had one denim shot went to 15 and three quarters, and the second one went to 16 inches. Those are just great. And then in the bare bullets, one did go to 13 inches, and the other one went to 15 inches. I can see a little bit of expansion on at least one, if not both, of the bare bullets. The denim bullets, I'm not so sure. We'll see that in the bullet exam. But as far as penetrating goes, they did surprisingly well from the 3 inch barrel. Maybe we'd have more consistent expansion from a 4 inch or 6 inch with a, with a higher velocity. But from the 3 inch, they did definitely reach deep enough. The Guardian Gold 115 plus P's look okay actually not great uh four of them look pretty decent but there's one of them came way short so the short bullet and i don't really understand why it's so much shorter than the others it clocked in at nine and a half inches and that was through bear gel the other bear gel bullet came in at 12 and a half so it's quite a bit of a spread and that's one reason why i like to run multiple shots you never know are you gonna if you take one shot are you gonna get the good one or the bad one you need to take a few more shots to get a more representative sample and representatively it seems like generally the mag techs do okay the denim bullets one was at 11 and a half one at 12 and one at 12 and a half so combine those three with the 12 and a half of the bear bullet number one and you have a pretty good picture not perfect but pretty good then we throw in the nine and a half and then it all throws it out the window so uh, this would not be my recommended load uh, because of that nine and a half coming in way short of the 12 inch minimum that we really d demand to see from anything that's going to be considered the best ammo from a three inch barrel Guardian Gold 124 standard pressure did reasonably well. Penetration was pretty good overall, just rather inconsistent. The shortest bullets were the bear gel bullets. They both came in at 11 and a half, which is, to be technical, below our 12 inch minima. It's awfully close, but it is below. Then the denim bullets, we had one of them stop at 13 and a half, which is very, very good. Another one stopped at 16, 16 and a quarter, which is outstanding. And then the third one went to 18 inches, actually maybe about 18 and a quarter. And that's a little bit over penetration, but still very, very good. So overall, I mean, the denim gel test is more important than the bear test. And even though they did not meet the 12 inch minimum on the bear, they came really close. So pretty decent performance. I don't 
think it's a, a Ammo Quest winning performance. Okay, first of all, bear bullets, denim bullets. The coppers, we only had one and a half that really kind of even tried to expand and didn't expand much, but but this one's a good bullet. That's that's good, but the rest of them, you know, this one's only a partial expander here. Only half of it really expanded, and the rest didn't even really try. Penetration was brilliant. Expansion is lousy. Moving on to the 115 grains, you know, these look decent. Uh, performance through the bear was not good. We had one that just kind of disintegrated, turned into the you know, that classic jellyfish shape that we always reference. We had one that expanded utterly gigantic and penetrated lousy because of it. It only made it to nine and a half inches in gel, where our minimum is 12. And then we had three through denim that did fine-ish. Uh, they didn't penetrate far, 11 to 12 inches, 12 and a half, but they went far enough. So what I think of when I see the 115 and the 124s here, the Guardian Golds, this does not remind me of premium ammo that you buy nowadays. You know, when I've tested and shown you guys gold dots or HSTs or something like that, a very stable, you know, solid, consistent look. These remind me more of bullets made in the 90s. And you know what? Bullets in the 90s got the job done somewhat too. But okay, looking at the 124s, we got pieces falling off. We got big expansion. The problem with the big expansion through the bear is that they didn't penetrate very far. The denim bullets are tiny, just barely expanded. I mean, they, there's, there's some expansion there, and, and the nice thing about them is that they're sharp and nasty. One thing that we run into with defensive ammo, like we, why we don't use a round nose FMJ in defensive ammo, it, it doesn't necessarily cut tissue. It just kind of pushes it out of the way and slips through. This ain't going to push nothing out of the way. This is going to slice and cut it. This, that's nasty. And they did penetrate plenty deep enough. They're just relatively tiny compared to more modern offerings. So, uh, the best penetration of the bunch, no expansion. Uh, kind of substandard. Don't really recommend the 115s. And the 124s were the best consistent expanding, but they're tiny. But they're okay. That, that, was, that was a decent performer there. If you want to save some of your time and move on, I would say that I'm not really going to be recommending any of these. These, these certainly aren't uh, competitive with the best modern ammo that's out there. But if you want to know how they each did, we've got the first defense solid copper. Beautiful penetration. Terrible expansion. Uh, maybe would be suitable from a 4-inch or a 6-inch gun, but from the 3-inch uh, barrel, you know, penetration is the most important factor, and these had fantastic penetration. They just didn't have much in the way of expansion. You can get great penetration and expansion with some of the other ammo I've tested, like the HST or the Winchester Defend or, or several others. So I don't see why I would want to settle for ammo that has great penetration and no expansion. 115 plus P, eh. Not very good. You know, these Guardian Golds, I, I've seen in some uh, marketing, they say that the Guardian Gold is a solid copper bullet. No possible way. It's a big hunk of lead. It, it's jacketed lead. So just to clear that up. But the 115 plus P is probably the most disappointing performer that I tested. It did expand. Expanded pretty decently, actually. But one of the bullets stopped at nine and a half inches, and that's a problem. Uh, the most important factor is penetration, like I just said. And if it's stopping at nine and a half inches in gel, it may not have enough penetration power to reach the vital organs and disrupt them in a body. So it's okay, it's better than nothing, but there there is better. The 124, this was the best of the bunch, but it wasn't anything special. It, uh, the way the bullets performed, uh, it looks, it doesn't look like modern ammo, you know, like a gold dot or like a HST or the Winchester Defender or Ranger or something like that. It looks like something we used to have back in the 90s or whatever, which I, I'm sure the bullets would work. I'm sure they'd be fine. If I had to use any Magtex, these are the ones I would use in the 3-inch gun. But I don't have to use the mag Magtex because there's lots of other choices out there and some that are quite a bit better. So uh, 
this is the winner of Magtech Day, but I don't think any of them should necessarily be your first choice. I think there's better choices out there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified next time a video is posted.